What up, good people? Y'all know what time it is, man. We back in the place again. This is the BOTV Live Show. I'm Jay Walker III. My brother is Carolina Dirt 803. Um, and we back for the NFL Bottle Picks, the BOTV Live Show Bottle Picks of the Week, Week 9. Um, last week was super adventurous in the league. You know what I'm saying? Um, any thoughts about last week before we get started? Nah, a lot of a lot of games came, came down to the to the end of the game, which is which is dope. Um, a lot of exciting moments. A lot got overshadowed by the Washington Hail Mary, but uh, hey, it's football season. It's the reason why we love it. Hey, in a real way, in a real way. Um, we both did pretty decent this week. Uh, Sixteen games, you went eleven and five. I was right behind you with a ten and six. Um, ones we kind of uh, shit the bed on. We shit the bed on <laughs> Minnesota versus the Rams on that Thursday night. Um, we shit the bed on Philly versus Cincinnati. We shit the bed on Baltimore versus Cleveland, but I think everybody that watches football, save diehard Cleveland fans, probably shit the bed. Hell yeah. Well, you see Lamar Jackson, but he was done. He was yeah. Done. What your boy Steve said? I really only know one true Cleveland Brown fan. That's it. He the only one. He and all of the people one. in the world that I know. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, I was I was happy for Jameis Winston. Uh, they, you know they've been doing doing uh, some behind the scenes of Jameis Winston, and I'm not gonna say he he evolved, but you can see he's calm, he's calmed down. He's always elevated his game every year. He just get a lot of slack for off the field, well, on the field, not during game time situation. Should I say right something he say or do? But uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. He is one of the dudes I probably would like to have as a teammate. Um, let the people for the record, if you still telling the Jameis Winston. Crab leg joke, man. Yeah. Kiss my ass. Yeah. Kiss my ass so what? Yeah, yeah. Cam was on his show um, talking about he thought it was the stupidest thing in the world about one more chance and all that shit. And my response to that is, because you a rapper, man. And 90% of y'all rappers be lying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, give that man some grace. Uh, he got to win. I don't think he's, uh, it qualifies as a Reemergence yet, but he ain't really had the chance to play. He shows up when he does. Yeah, I mean, whatever sport you in, it take we as viewers don't understand what it take for you to get to that moment of whatever the game time play is. Whether it's tennis, gymnastics, uh, golf, we as viewers just we just put our opinion on it. it. Take a lot to get to that level, and for an NFL quarterback to get to that level of starting a game. Yeah. You know, we talk shit and say you garbage you and all that, but really, hey, hats off to you to making it that far because a lot of us didn't. In a real way. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, P.S. Dallas Cowboys fans, go ahead and box up your shit for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and box your shit up for Christmas right now. It's okay. You you'll win the Super Bowl next year. We go ahead. Y'all can start saying that for 2025, 2026 season. Um, you're gonna win the Super Bowl. Cause it won't be this season. It I'm not gonna say it ain't because the weirdest things have happened where it got people in the playoffs. But what I will say is the same shit every year. Same shit every year. Same shit every year. Um, big wins by Detroit. Detroit got up and through and around Tennessee. Uh, what up, though, for Detroit Lions fans? And outside of that, I think that was the those are the storylines outside of the wish and a prayer by uh, Jaden Daniels in the Commander game. Uh, those was like the storylines. Before we get into the picks, man. So far, I know we're not exactly at the halfway point. What's what's your storyline for the season right now? I would say, and I was thinking about it the other day, 
the reemergence of running backs. Running backs are actually got off. You know, they tried to say they were all amount that they getting, but the running backs this year, bro, they is getting off. Whether it's running out the hole, whether it's catching, whether it's blocking, um, there's a lot of good, good, good running backs out there. Um, a lot of good running backs that switch teams, but it shows you how crucial the running back position is. Um, the cornerbacks, cornerbacks haven't gotten a lot of shine over the years, but these wide receivers have been showing out the last several years, so somebody got to stop them. Somebody got to stop them. I mean, you know, they keep making up rules to make it hard on on the defense anyway. Mel Kuyper said that dumb shit about, you know, no more cover twos or no, or whatever the fuck. That shit's stupid. Um, Detroit put up 52 points the other day. If your offense is built for it, you're going to get the scoring you want. Stop trying to, like, we already at pity pat level with this football game. And it seemed crazy to say since it's been some horrendous injuries uh, this season right here. But Man, that's, that's the nature of the game. And that's why they get, you know, the type of checks that they get. You feel me? Um, Stephon Diggs just went down for the year. Like, it's, it's, it's out there crazy. Right. Um, and rare, a lot of them didn't get hit. A lot of them is type of roll up on tackling injuries that you can't avoid unless you're going to go to two hand touch. And I don't even want to put that in the atmosphere because. That might be the next thing. And hey, you know what else has been crazy? Uh, I think, other than um, other than Lamar, and I ain't gonna say Lamar. Pocket passing is back. Pocket passing is definitely back. Um, I guess if anything, my storyline for the year is I always been. I always say to groom these rookies. Um before you throw their ass into the fire, you know what I'm saying? Some of these franchises, you're going to lose anyway. Unless the next Tom Brady show up, the next Michael Vick show up, uh, the next Lamar Jackson, like we be putting a lot on these kids. I would say the rookies and the younger quarterbacks in the league have been really carrying the league. Uh. Well, I will say to offset that, not offset it, to add on to that, Baker is, Baker is balling. Baker Mayfield keeps showing up and it let me know that Dallas ain't the only cursed franchise in the league. <laughs> um, Cleveland might be cursed and the Jets is also on that list for Carolina being cursed. Is definitely cursed. Carolina is definitely cursed. Carolina is definitely that's the top four teams that's cursed right now. Uh, Shocker, Geno Smith still balling. Baker balling. Golf balling. Right. After coming back into his own, CJ Stroud. Like, these quarterbacks, is, like I said, it seems like it's back to pocket passing, and, and they slanging it. But like you said, to go back to, are they giving are they giving too much sympathy? I ain't going to say sympathy. They're not allowing the defense to do what they do, but – you got you to get him credit, man. You got to get him credit. Definitely got to give him credit, man. Man, look, we ain't going to hold y'all, man. Uh, week nine is going to begin here. They announcing the lineups right now, so we're going to run through this thing. Again, we do this live. We do this on Thursday night, so if there's any late changes to injury reports or whatever, uh, trade, anything that might affect the roster, keep in mind that we did this on Thursday for the entire week. Uh, for the entire weekend of football. So tonight, we got uh, Texans at the Jets. What you got? Ooh. I want to go with my boy AR. But the Texans is balling. But they just lost. I think they're down like two wide receivers. Um, they play in New Jersey. I'm going to go I'm gonna go with AR. I'm going to go with the Jets. Um... I do. I feel like a Aaron Rodgers is too much of an asshole to not put up. <laughs> um, 
That being said, I'm going to see that Stroud and the Texas. Okay. Um, starting Sunday, we got the Cowboys against uh, my eight-town state down Falcons. Uh, I'm not even going to let that breathe, cuz. Falcons on two on two. I agree. All right. We got the Miami Dolphins at the Buffalo Bills. Um, and they playing in Buffalo. Um, Buffalo. I'm taking Buffalo as well. We got the Las Vegas Raiders traveling to see the Cincinnati Bengals. Cincy. Uh, the Bengals lost a heartbreaker last week. Um, I'm going to stick with the Bengals. We got the Chargers at the Browns. Browns. I'm going to take Jameis to go 2-0. Yeah. Uh, Patriots at the Titans. Patriots at the Titans. Patriots at the Titans. The Patriots at the Titans. The Titans. Um, Drake May went down. Jacoby reset is starting. I feel like the Titans might get it together after they got their ass whooped, but I'm still going to go. I'm going to go with the Patriots on the road because, yeah, because that's how I feel. <laughs> Why is it the commanders at the New York Football Giants? I can't, I can't, I can't go against Jaden. I'm not a Washington fan. I just can't go against Jaden right now. Right now they got some kind of magic. We're gonna see if it holds out. I agree with you. I'm gonna roll with the commanders on this one. Never thought I'd see the day. Never thought I'd see the day without pick though. Um we got the Saints at the Panthers. Ooh, Derek Carr back. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go Saints. Panthers get back on the board. I'm gonna take the Panthers um, at home against the Saints. We got the Broncos at the Ravens. This is a tough game. This is one of the good games. Oh, Nix has been balling this year too. I think Sean Payton got his man. Uh, he got he got a run game, almost like what he had pass catching running back like he had in New Orleans. Uh, can, can, can you stop Derrick Henry? The Ravens. I'm gonna ride with the Ravens, man. Uh, Derrick Henry, Zay Flowers. Um, they got Deontay besides Johnson. them losing a the heartbreaker to the Browns. They just got Deontay Johnson from uh, Carolina, too. Stretch the field. I'm taking the Ravens. Um, Jacksonville against the Eagles. <laughs> Eagles in Philly. I'll take the Eagles. Uh, Philly's so... Eagles so up and down because they beat everybody they ain't supposed to beat, lose everybody they should beat. Um... I'm still going to take the Eagles. <laughs> I'm going to take the Eagles. Uh, yeah, in a real way. Chicago Bears at the Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals. What would you say? The Cardinals. Arizona. Uh, yeah. The Bears lost a heartbreaker. I'm going to take the road team, man. I'm going to take the Bears against the, the Cardinals. And this is for no reason. Um, other than what I feel again, um, Arizona is definitely a talented team. They're going to push every team that they uh, face, but I'm going to take Chicago. I thought the Lions was off this weekend, but I was wrong. I misread. Yeah, you got the Lions at your Green Bay Packers. What you going to do? I'm not sure. I'm take the Packers. This is for the division lead. I'm taking the Packers. This is a huge game. Uh, divisional, like you said. Lions on the road, they travel well. 
Packers play at home well. I don't want to be a fair weather bandwagon or whatever you call it, but uh, I'm gonna go Detroit again. And if you if you got some money, go ahead and lay it on the go ahead and lay it on the lines, girl. Um, Rams at the Seahawks. Oh, Rams at the Seahawks. Rams at the Seahawks. Rams at the Seahawks. Seahawks. Hey, uh, Gino Ball. Seattle. That's your people. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to make some space. Either uh, you're going to catch me, you're going to take the lead. I'm, I'm going Rams. I think Matt Stafford got his shit together. He got Puka back. He got Cooper Cup back. I'm going to go Matt Stafford and the Rams on the road. And Kyron Williams is bowling. Yeah, indeed. Matter of fact, I'm switching up. No, I ain't. No, I ain't. No, I ain't. No, I ain't. I'm 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 gonna stick with the bar. I'm gonna stick with Seahawks. I'm gonna stick with Seahawks. Look, hey, real look. Stafford is a goat, man. I'm I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you one more chance. What you gonna do? I'm gonna stick with Seahawks. Okay, he's sticking with the Seahawks. We got the Colts at the Vikings. Um, whew. Anthony Richardson got benched. Uh, Flacco back. Um, TJ Hawkson back. Uh, in Minnesota, I'm gonna go out on the limb. I'm gonna take the Colts. I feel like I'm gonna take the Colts because I ain't been believing that the Vikings was like that, but they've been playing like that, but I still don't believe in them. <laughs> so I'm gonna take Joe Flacco to take over that team and take them down the stretch this week against the Vikings. He did it last year. For sure, for sure. Uh, Monday night, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs play all primetime games? Yep. Damn near. Okay. We got the Buccaneers at the Chief. Close game. Whew. Close game. Partners of Chiefs fan. He always say Peyton, uh, <laughs> uh, Patrick, uh, Mahomes gonna get one up. But I think they could give two up. Chiefs. Chiefs go eight no, Kyle. Chiefs go eight no. Um, Steelers and the 49ers on by this week. Um, that's week nine, Kyle. This is the BOTB Live Show. I'm Jay Walking the Third. That's my brother, my partner, them Carolina. They're 803. Week nine picks are in the ballot. You know what I'm saying? We can't change them. Uh, again, we do this on Thursday, so if you see that throughout the weekend or you run across this video on Monday, you'd be like, y'all some dumbasses. Put it in the comments. That's how I feel about it. Outside of that, cause we do a show on Wednesdays at 8.35 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we're going to crank back up on the Friday shows. Um, and outside of that, man, y'all have a good weekend, man, for y'all respective uh, fandom and the teams that y'all fuck with. Uh, go Falcons. We gone, man. Y'all be easy.